great hat for yeah, just I was going to say that's hat. <laughs> that kind of commands the scene, doesn't it? It's a scene about a, a hat <laughs> and a pair of goggles. <laughs> I had a shot that dollies back and shows more of the room, and Dean Cundy's was upset at me because we had to pull one of the walls. He was afraid that would violate the third wall thing. If the camera goes further than the wall, the audience knows it's a set. Here's the shot I'm talking about as we come back and let Keith pull us around and pull behind Will. Since he was against the wall, uh, Dean was afraid the audience would know what we did. I said, well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you got to do it. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. Now, we had big discussions that about whether you would know you were the thing right. I if heard you it got just, it imitated. Just, yeah, it got so uh, deep as you thought about it. You'd get more and more into it, and then finally you realized you couldn't ever possibly figure out. I had <laughs> done some rewriting at this point, so we wanted to clarify the, some of the story. Joel Polis comes up and asks you to go out in the fire call. But you guys were, what I what I loved about it was the actors were always ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> always ready to go. They loved this movie. They really did. And committed to uh, playing it and, and, and getting past the extreme difficulty of the conditions we were working under. Tommy Waits running out. Joe Dante saw this in, in at my house on tape. He said, well, you dollied over and dollied back. That's low-budget filmmaking. <laughs> what is he? Uh, Donald's starting to go. <laughs> starting to go a little bit. and. It also shows that McCready just takes care of business. He, he has a job to do, and he doesn't have time. He's accepted what the others, some of the others can't accept. I love the lighting that Dean did with the blue uh, lights. Those were actually uh, from airports. They're airport markers. But the deep blue of them was really spooky on the snow and very pretty. Yeah. We don't know why you find that flashlight there, <laughs> but we do find it. And so we can do this little trick here. <laughs> ah, ah, well, you're doing your best. Try to run the snow. <laughs> He's just going to town in there, and poor uh, Tommy Waits is underneath it all. We ran uh, two cameras on this and just let Will go for it. Now, it, you might notice uh, uh, Keith's left hand. He hides behind you. <laughs> he had... He had broken it in a car accident. As I remember, the only car he had driven prior to that one was a stolen car in New York City. <laughs> I'll kill you. Opens it up. Go for it, Will. And here you come. Here's what he, watch him as he backs up. There you go. He doesn't want to get hit too hard. People go flying. That was great to the... And really, really well great. done. Yeah. I mean, he really pulled it off pulled off this whole character. So it really t turned out to be a terrific yeah. scene. But did I have a clue of how to do it when I got there in the morning? No, I had no idea. Yeah. The paranoia is what uh, yeah. kind of the glue that holds the movie together. It's of course, I think the most disturbing thing for the audience, that's what bothered them so much. And uh, I always felt the characters reflected their time just as yeah. Hawks' original movie and his characters reflected theirs. He also came up with a final line for the movie too. Well, on we, location. we talked about it forever and ever, didn't we? We just how are we going to end this? How are we going to end this story? You know, it's at this stage of the game where I like to look at a movie and try to. Hopefully, the movie's allowed you to be able to say to yourself, "Now, if I were there, what would I? What would I be like? What would I do? What would I be thinking?" And uh, I think we'd all love to believe that we'd rise to the <laughs> heroic the moment. Yeah. I'm not so sure. Yeah. I think I'd probably be on the floor crying kicking my heels. I remember dealing in my mind with the fact that is McCready a creature or not? Right. For a long time I, I was hoping maybe we could do something where you were. Yes. But then I thought, well, nah, maybe not. <laughs> I'm not so sure they want to see that. <laughs> There's the shot. I love those two shots. It, you just felt like somebody was watching uh -huh. somehow. This is where I think Blair wants to come back inside. He has a hangman's <laughs> rope. <laughs> I'm all better now, and I want to come back inside. Come on, man. <laughs> what was interesting about this is I remember we got those little sheets of paper that talked about people after they'd been in lonely situations for a long time, and they their first thing would go is their appearance, and then they'd begin to steal things and whatnot. And I, I felt like that I, that was happening to all the actors on the on the, on the show. Now we had to we had to have uh, Keith David break through that door with an axe, and he actually went right at it. You notice everybody else is moving away slightly. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. An axe, a car, you never know. Actor, actor gets something a deadly weapon in his hand. 
<laughs> you get frightened. Yeah, you know, those flares were dripping on this this crap on you, and it was pretty bad. I got them all over. I got burning, burning yeah. my flesh yeah, yeah, on my if you're hands. Anywhere near them, and it, it wasn't fun at all. And you breathe this stuff, and it makes you want to give up and go home. It's probably the most, as far as I'm concerned, one of the oh, craziest done. This, this, when it, people still talk about this one, they, they. There. Whoa! <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, boy. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love this one. Look at that. Pretty disgusting, isn't it? Oh, man. For now, we have a little radio control yeah. thing in the background that's crawling <laughs> away. <laughs> this and is here he comes. <laughs> oh, man. How'd you do those sound effects? What was the, uh, what would you use? Did I you? have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're beginning to understand too that that thing just wants to survive. And it's an organism, it's just like us. We could go to another planet and, and eat plants, and from the plant's point of view, uh, <laughs> that's this right. horrendous looking monster. Oh, they were shook. They were shook by it. And uh, one of the reviews, I, at the time, called me a pornographer of violence. <laughs> <laughs> It is completely, like, it's completely nuts. crazy. It's nuts. It's just it's, crazy. It's a nightmare. It really is a vision of hell, as far as I'm I mean, concerned. I wouldn't, I mean, can you imagine this? If, it, if this was happening in front of me in reality, I would say, well, I, I guess, uh, I guess that's about it. Oh, yeah. oh here. brother, I want to tell you something. That woke me up in a hurry. You weren't ready for this no, explosion. It was over before it happened. Watch yourself now as you throw this. Back there. Wham oh, man. It went boy. right by me. I mean, I felt stuff go through me on that. Uh, uh, Keith David wants to get away from uh, Donald here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a perfect summation. <laughs> all in all, it wasn't a very fun physical no, experience. It, was really, it really was exhausting. After a whole day of that, you'd be... You'd be really tired, and then the next day was more of the same. It was also one of those movies where you begin to th you talk back to that. What was that John Wayne movie where they figured everybody on the set got cancer because of some asbestos? Uh, the or Conqueror, something. It was, it yeah, yeah, Conqueror. Yeah. And we uh, began to say, "Well, I can remember exactly when I uh, <laughs> got it. It was on the thing." I still can't decide whether Childs was a creature. Or I know. Not. I thought that was. Uh, I cannot decide. Yeah, there was, there was, there was no way of telling and no way of ever knowing. Again, you're acting with this flare uh, and doing a very good job of not burning yourself with it. I mean. This, this is also in the, in the movie where you, a long way from the end, you've told the audience it ain't going to be a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought this was a whole lot like an old World War II picture where, yeah. you know, you had to carry out the mission. That's actually Rob Bottin's hand and Donald Moffat's face. It, was, it wasn't it was the most fun to do, but it was really nice. You don't know what quite what's back there. And Cundy's lighting is just sort of suggesting little things. And yeah. It's what's in your mind more than anything else. And nice tuck and roll. Yeah. And this was then what do we say here? I remember this one too. What should we say here? <laughs> <laughs> My sentiments exactly. <laughs> we just didn't know. We said if if you do you know if you're the thing? Do you, does does it know if it knows that you know you're the thing? And on and on and on and how would you stop it? And and, and as a director, you know, you would say to me, these guys <coughs> can't let themselves live, John. They have to kill each other. And I would think to myself, well I can't have you two burn each other is the end of my picture. So you came up with a, with a final moment. The only thing we did know at this point was that McCready right, was not, right? He could have been. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> you know what, I'm extremely proud of the film. I think we, uh, we pulled off uh, a movie that's lasted longer than, than we may have all thought. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of joy in, in, in the whole process of making movies. Just kind of being there and and going through it all together, especially in this case, we all bonded as a, as cast and crew, yeah. and uh, really worked uh, worked hard to, to make the, the best picture we could at the time. And and the experiences that we all remember now um, are really our reward for the film. You know, you, it's like a kid; you you do the best you can with That's it. That's right. You send it out into the world, and sometimes it does okay, and sometimes it doesn't.